Welcome back. Now, rather than phoning for a curry on Saturday night, we are making our own today. Mm-hmm. Charlo, the chef, joins us, and he's making an Indian curry with sweet potato badges. But first, a little bit of Lizzo. This is Charlo's introduction. <laughs> Blame, blame it on, it on, on my juice. juice. I'm going to blame it on your juice now in a minute. That's Liz. You don't know Lizzo. Uh, no, Bruce. The minute, I know you, Bruce. the minute you heard it, you went, oh, I know that. Oh, I'm singing it. My kids, my kids know it. My kids know it. All right, Charlo. OK, so we're doing oh, an yeah, Indian yeah. going green kicking chicken curry. Oh, Indian luck. going green, green kicking chicken, chicken, chicken curry. curry. Yeah. Happy and the, day. The whole challenge for me is at the end of this, I hope the, the curry is going, going, gone. <laughs> oh, well, it will be. OK, <laughs> listen, I'll just introduce you to a few of the stars of the yes. show, OK? So we're going to make our badges, OK? So in here, I've just jumped ahead a little bit. I've grated badges. some sweet potato, the spinach, coriander, garlic, some sliced red onion in okay. there for the crunch, OK? What we need for that, then, we have turmeric. I've got some ground coriander, cumin and black pepper. Beautiful. We'll come to that in a second. And um, we've got some chilies, we've got some nigella seeds. Yes. Oh, it's very good, okay. And then we're gonna make the batter, okay? So first of all, um, the batter then will be graham flour, we've got plain flour, bacon powder, and sparkling water. Nice. And then for the green curry, we have chicken and we have onions, and then we have coconut milk, natural yogurt, salt, pepper, we've got chili oil, rickle rapeseed chili oil, garlic, ginger, red, uh, green chilies. In here then we have lemon zest, wow. lemon juice, wow. we have mint. Spinach and coriander. All okay. the details, Let's go. all the recipe yeah. details on the website, yeah, well, don't be worried. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to toast some seeds. Essentially, when you're making any Indian curries at home, we're going to toast some um, black peppercorn and some coriander seeds. Just let them pop, but they'll come alive now in two minutes, okay? Straight on the pan, no oil? Yeah. Yeah. Straight on the pan, no oil. So into the, we're going to make our uh, batter Batches next. First, so, Simon, so, mean, if you drop in the equal amounts of 100 grams of um, oh, gra uh, oh, gram flour, grams now. One, one, no, sorry, one te level teaspoon of bacon powder, you mix in it all in here with one egg, into here? Yep. Yeah, go for it. Equal amounts. These go in, these are all weighed all out today. Okay, so 100 cool. grams of gram flour and plain flour and the sparkling water. Mix that up and I get the bargy mix ready. You know the bargy? You want the water in there as well, Please, Chef? Yeah. yeah. Get a little batter going for me. Okay. We get these on. The bargy um, is sort of... It's a little bit personal too because like you, you can add and subtract. I just uh, I've come up with this recipe here, but you can add and subtract Aiden, you know. Okay, so we have so the spices in there. Is it different to a traditional onion bhaji? Exactly. Well look, I've put in a few spices here to give it a bit of a kick, but I mean you can I mean you can add courgette in there. You know, if you have some stuff in your in your fridge that you want to use up, absolutely go for it, you know. Make sure it's nice and grated, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna Simon's gonna pour the batter in on top of that. So there's a spatula there, Simon, okay? Okay. Actually we we'll do it there, okay? Pour the batter in there. Go for it in, yeah. Okay, and then you got to get in with your with your spatula. Mix that around. Then Simon, I've got a fryer here. Yeah, I'm gonna just pop in three little dumplings and get them fried off. So you don't want to form time. these in my hand, chef, and then drop Absolutely, them in. Absolutely, yeah. Get 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 the get the hands dirty, yeah. Okay. Now you can hear that. Ah, and you can see them jumping. The seeds are yeah, they are popping, this? baby. Yeah, they're dancing to so the this juice. This is the stage. Then we have our sorry, Simon. Just jump over here. We have our pestle and mortar. So once they come to this stage and they start to come alive and they start, that's when you know you're ready to go. You don't want them to burn. Born, yeah, yeah. But what you want to do is just want to re reinvent them and get them going, get them alive. Release get all those the spice essential oils. Spice yeah, here. baby. So them up. We're going into our pestle and mortar here, Aiden. <clears throat> and you can all right, just you want me to... pound them and ground them for me, please, if you don't mind. Pound and ground. Yeah. Okay. Blame and blame so I'm just going to take you with MMA. Ground and pound. Yeah. There you go. And so now it's a chefing term too. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. All so right, Simon, these are ready to go, chef. Exactly. So just a little pop, pop them in and then... Um, so make little pop, balls of them, is it? Little balls and pop them in, wash the hands and we get going with the second part, OK? okay. So here's the, here's, the, here's the main dish, OK? The chicken curry. So I've just, um, in a nice medium heat pan, I've browned off some onions so they're soft. I've added in the chicken. It's just diced uh, Irish chicken breast, OK? Mm. And then, um, now here we are. We're going to mix, mix our... our uh, in our blender, okay? So I have spinach, uh, mint, as I said, coriander. We've got a little bit of uh, lemon zest in there, so I'm just gonna add to that now, okay? So it's a whole lemon. And these are all the flavors. These are all the, you know, the Indian, Indian flavors of this curry that make this curry so special. A little bit of lemon juice, so a full lemon juice, okay? One lemon. And believe it or not, guys, this is called in India, the in we're making Indian gravy here. Indian, Indian gravy. Indian gravy. gravy. Well, that's yeah. what they call curry in India, isn't it? Indian, they call it Indian gravy. gravy. Yeah. So we're making an yeah, Indian gravy here, believe it. The British or not. influence that turned it into. Okay, so we're popping curry. in our green chilies and look at. You might think, oh my God, there's just too much going in here. But when we blitz this up, a little bit of ginger. A three and it, it all balances of ginger. as well, yeah. doesn't it? And another trick as well is the natural yogurt and the um, the coconut has to be put in at this stage. Um, if you're making it at home and your sauce cracks, a lot of people would make it and they'd. Um, They'd add the, maybe the yogurt in when it's in the pan. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So it's just a little tip is to put everything in here. All right? Ah, and blitz that. And blitz that. There will be a little bit of honey as well. So a little, say, a tablespoon of honey, just to give it a little bit of sweetness. 
Me badges right. are looking the business, by the way. Oh, Shout out to this. Can we get a, get a shot of that? Get a shot of this, bad boy. Look, can no. we give him another? We're just going to blend this, OK? We're going to blend that. No. And as Charles said, you just want to rotate yeah. them to make sure they get a colour of both sides. You just twist it towards me. It's going to be a little bit of noise here, guys. That's all right. We don't mind that, Charles. It'll be worth it in the end. OK. Now, we're going to add a little bit of turmeric in here, Simon. Yeah. A little bit of turmeric into your chicken. So brown your chicken on all sides. Yeah. Make sure your um, your onions are nice and soft. A little bit of turmeric. And Aidan is nice and kindly. Oh, that's Yeah, we'll pitch that enough. for another 20 seconds, please, chef. Okay. 20 seconds. We have the nice ground, and you see, get the flavours off that time. You can get the Smells. explosion of, oh, of spice flavours. Oh, yeah, baby. So that's our ground cracked bag pepper and our ground coriander. I'm going to mix this around, mm. and already you can see the change now. It changes dynamics of the dish already, OK? I mean, look yeah. at those bhajis. Oh, my god. Yeah, happy yeah, days. fantastic. Happy so days. as we can see, yeah. I'm going to put some okay, more on Aiden. as well, Chef. We've had engine failure. Aiden, Aiden's at the break in the blender. Ah, uh, Aiden broke oh, the blender, god. yeah. Well, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> just <laughs> in the wrong bit. Yeah. yeah. There we go. OK, so okay. a little finer on so, that. So blitz that till, till the mixture. It's nice and, and as I was saying before on the teas, it's nice and green there now, okay? I mean here so comes the colour. All yeah. that's left to do then we've we've top, we've roasted off our spices, the flavour is amazing. And you see the way the turmeric has obviously sort of changed the whole dynamics colour. of the dish, the colour of the dish. Oh, here we go. Yeah, baby. Okay. Get and then what there. you do is we season that up. Okay, you season it up. The amount okay. of flavour that you've packed into this charlotte. Mm. Unbelievable. <clears throat> From a little bit of sea salt as well, okay? And then we let that simmer for around 15, 20 minutes. Now, guys, okay. the most important thing, I suppose, when you're making any curries or any casseroles and all, is to taste, taste, taste. As you go. Exactly, okay. taste as you go. Now, what are I you have seasoning got, as you go, then? We're going to season as we go, as well. I'm going to just show you a few little tips at the end now, how, how, to, how to correct your curry. Oh. I have one that I made earlier, OK? So I'm just going to pop this out, because we don't have time, actually, just to let that sit for 15 minutes. But oh, believe God. you me, we're going to cook that through. So, uh, as you can see, the more you cook it through, it darkens, mm. OK? And that's where we come into, we're going to serve it down with a little bit of um, natural yoghurt as well. So it darkens in colour. Now, here's a, here's a tip, OK? So it, what you're going to do is you've got to taste. And what you're looking for, you're looking for deep flavours. So, you, you? so once you taste, now you're going to control this, OK? And you're going to make it into a really beautiful curry. Mm -hmm. So got a little bit of brown sugar, OK? <sighs> So a little bit of brown sugar, we'll add to that. We'll add a little bit of salt and pepper. And it's so, so important. The difference between unseasoned and seasoned dish is just amazing. Night and day, isn't it? And yeah. it's, it's like a two minute adjustment at the end. And I promise you, don't, you the potential is that you think you might over season it and ruin the dish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep on adding little, 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 you know? Yeah. You, what do they say? You in, can in, always in add what you can't. Take away. Right. Brilliant. I a think little, we have look a at a tiny, a tiny little bit of butter if you want. Omit the butter if you want as well, but what it does is it gives you a lovely glaze and gives you a really rich, creamy. Um, All right, yeah. can we taste it? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting greedy now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've, got a little bit of I've got a little bit of balsamic rice, okay? Lovely. Which is fantastic, obviously, a compliment for any curry. So, you're going to pop that on the plate. Okay. Okay, remember all the details, of course, are on today's recipe. There's plenty of them there. Uh, it's up on our website and it's also on Charlo's website too. Now, pop, on Charlo, the, pop on the badge the there. Chef.com. Charlo the chef .com. Marvelous. Oh, there's the badges yeah. to go with. Charlie, just drizzle a little bit of uh, natural yogurt over there. Okay. <sighs> we're going to taste have... this during the break, are we? Happy. Oh, I <laughs> think so. Yeah. Look at this. Well, when I say so, taste yeah. it, we're going to eat it. <laughs> <clears throat> right, Aidan, well, go for it, son. All right, thank you. <clears throat> Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mind you, don't spill it on the floor now. Well, you happy? I think he's happy, Simon says it all. Charlie. Introduce a bit more chilli if you want to get up there, but it's a medium heat at the moment. A lovely perfect. background flavours. Yeah, perfect heat. Now, Charlie, thanks. Thank thanks, you, boys. Charlie. Thanks, guys.